DeMarco, with lots of people out of work right now, there is some help for some small business owners who are suffering. CBS 2's Tina Patel reports on a new program that LA County leaders are starting. Christina Gonzalez works at CBS KCAL, but she and her husband also own a barber shop in Century City. And that shop, like many other small businesses, has been closed indefinitely. It's very frustrating, especially because we have employees and these are very uncertain times. We don't know what to tell them. We don't know when they'll be back. We don't know what to do, basically. She's heard about aid programs that are supposed to help people like her and her employees, but hasn't had any luck applying. We've looked into the different programs that are being offered and kind of like, checked our options, but honestly, not everybody qualifies. It's not beneficial for everybody. LA County Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas has heard from many business owners like Gonzalez, and he's trying to help. This week, the Board of Supervisors approved a new relief fund specifically for businesses with less than 20 employees that may not be eligible for federal or state aid. We know that this is very, very important because of the basic function and role uh, that small businesses play in terms of being the economic engine. Uh, of LA County. The state is also stepping up, now offering special assistance to gig workers and independent contractors who don't normally qualify for unemployment benefits. And LA Mayor Eric Garcetti has set up an Angelino card initiative to provide debit cards to some families who have fallen into deeper hardships since the crisis. The supervisor is hoping all these measures will help businesses and their employees hold on a bit longer. He's asking business owners to work with county officials. If these funds are not available, maybe there are others that we can provide information for so that people can get all the help that's out there. The county's small business relief fund will be available later this month. The supervisor will be hosting a Facebook live at 3 p.m. today to go over some of the details. In Studio City, Tina Patel, CBS 2 News.